In this video, we got a 55-inch LG that's LCD, LED edge backlit. And as you can see over here, we've got a couple of dark spots. I'm expecting to have a couple of bad LEDs on that edge strip there. So now with the LCD screen removed, we can see the edge lit. We have the right-hand side LED strip and left-hand side. And you can see we have two sections out. Well, this TV is being a bit of a pain in the ass. So it's got 12 individual channels for driving the LEDs. Each strip, there's, so there's, there's two strips, and we have 11 LEDs per channel. So each strip has six of these groups. So six on the left, six on the right, and here's your 12 individual channels. When I run my voltmeter across each individual LED looking to see which one of these LEDs could possibly be open causing this group to go out, none of them are open. They're all working fine. It's the channel that's shutting off. And But yet when I bench test the groups, these are the two bad groups, when I test them individually with the bench uh, power supply, of course they work perfectly fine. None of them, even if I ramp up the current to they're 6.6 .6 volts per LED. They have a twin twin die in each LED, so they're a high voltage LED. But I can sit here for a lot longer than what it takes for the TV when the TV's powering them. They, they turn off within a few seconds, but here I can hold power to them all day long and they work perfectly fine. So it's rather annoying that the LEDs are fine, but the driver board is shutting down these two channels, so I'm almost tempted to just isolate these two MOSFETs and run the gate to one of these channels that are not shutting down just to trick it into staying on. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but it's getting kind of annoying. Warning, hack job incoming. So I removed these proprietary little driver transistors, which I looked up and don't exist. And I've soldered a couple of resistors through these test points here. And they lead to these resistors here, which just tie it to ground through a pair of 47 ohm resistors in series, which gives it an 8 volt drop, which is slightly more than the rest of the channels, which are around a 5 volt drop. So I'm driving the two bad banks slightly lighter than the rest. But, but look how evenly the bad LEDs are lit up with the rest. You can't even tell that they're being driven slightly different. And here's the the good side that had no issues. And here's the bad section. Here's one the first bad section and the second bad section, but section, but look at that. They're evenly lit. So what the heck is going on here? Well I'm not proud of the hack job I ended up doing on this one to get it to work. I think this whole time it may have just been the LED driver board false triggering. I've had this TV running now all evening for several hours and the side that was giving me problems over here is lighting just fine. There's no dim shadows, there's no flickering. So I think it's safe to say it was just the driver board acting up. So well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.